Hello, thanks for watching Quick and Dirty Land Cruisers. All right, today we're gonna look at a couple racks. I've got uh, this FJ80 here with the uh, Prince rack. I did a earlier video on the assembly of it. <clears throat> so we've got, I've got the Prince on this truck, the 80 series. I've got the front runner on the 100 series. And then behind the camera girl there, I've got the ARV rack on top of the 80 or 60 series. So, all right, let's come back to the Prince rack. Um, this is the latest one I've done. This rack, uh, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, you know, you can mount stuff in these slots on the side. That works pretty good. Uh, you can get up, you can, you can, you can slide stuff through the trick channels up in the top. I don't know if the camera can get a better view of that. But, um, the, the, uh, sun, you know, I've got the sunroof covered, but I don't get hardly any wind noise from this rack. So that's been nice. Um, one thing to note on these, um, I was a little concerned, you know, when you get the rack, this, uh, this piece that sits down into the gutter, it's, I was kind of worried that it was going to hurt the paint, hurt the truck somehow. And I've even tried putting like a, some, a rubber strip on it and that didn't work. It made it too thick. Well, it comes to turn, it turns out <clears throat> there's, there's like a, from the factory, kind of a, a rubber caulk or something they put in that gutter. And it sits in it pretty well and it doesn't hurt anything. You just need to be careful when you're laying it on top. So that was one thing I was concerned with with the Prince rack. But it's not been a big deal. It's been a good rack. Um, I like the looks. It's very slim line. Um, I haven't seen that they have a whole lot of mounting options and accessories as much as say the um, front runner rack. <clears throat> but I do like the looks of it. And, you know, I haven't mounted a whole lot of stuff, but I've thrown kayaks on top of it, and it's been fine for that. And I do like it doesn't have any wind noise coming through the sunroof. So, but here's another, here's the thing to kind of keep in mind. On some of your, some of these trucks, um, for whatever reason, if this gutter is off just a little bit, this head, this bolt head will want to hit your rubber seal here. So I had to grind my, I grinded the head of my bolt down some to get some smoother clearance where it wouldn't, I smoothed it off a little bit. And then I put, you know, I put a piece of uh, just electrical tape right here on the trim, just, you know, keep it from tearing it up. And it's like that on both sides. So, you know, that's, it may not be like that on every truck, every, and, you know, it's millimeters differences, uh, and you're going to get that on one rack to the other and one truck to the other probably. But otherwise, the front runner, front, or I'm sorry, the uh, Prince Hill rack's been pretty nice. Uh, it's been pretty good. I might do some more stuff on it, mount some more things on it later. Uh, this back piece, let's get a view of this back piece here. Um, I don't know if I did that right, but I mounted this back piece kind of sideways. I don't really give you, uh, I don't know if you can see this little rear piece. I don't know if they tell you to do that or not. That's how I ended up doing mine. I got a shovel mounted to that. I just got these quick grips. <clears throat> get my fans on. And they mounted really nice and easy to uh, that rack. And you can do a lot of other different stuff. I do like these. Uh, you can run any kind of bolt through that. And, Mount about anything you want to pretty easily on there, I think. Uh, okay, now on the front runner. So, front runner's got a ton of. I've had this rack on this truck for quite a while, a few years, a couple of years. Um, you know, it's not, as, it's not as aerodynamic, and they may have a different model, but this is the one they have for my 100 series. Now, I do have a wind deflector. It does pretty good. I mean, you get a little more wind noise than you do from the, the Prince Hill, we'll say. Uh, and this rack was uh, a little more difficult to put together than the Prince Hill. It's uh, got 
more bits and pieces to, to put together. Um, the Prince who was probably, uh, my, I mean, it, was, it, was a little, it took probably half the amount of time to put it together, I think. But anyways, but I do like the Frontliner. They have all kinds of accessories. Let's see if you can get up there and look at those uh, extra accessories we've got. They've got all kinds of uh, things you can add to the rack, which they're all uh, uh, proprietary pieces. This is a kayak paddleboard mount. You've got a mountain bike mount. Uh, I think that's their shovel I got from them. It mounts became these specialized mounts. Their stuff's not cheap, uh, but it does fit nice. And so we've got these. Uh, Traction pads here, these uh, <clears throat> Max Tracks mounted on their proprietary mounts, which, you know, they provide a lot of stuff to mount things with, and that's nice. Uh, uh, only issue I've had with this rack, you know, running up and down these uh, dirt gravel roads and forestry service roads, and, you know, you get a lot of dust. This, this every once in a while, I have to put a little W40 on this uh, max track mount um, so i have mounted these uh, road packs on top i don't recommend doing that i learned the hard way uh, i think a lot of people will tell you not to do that and i uh, thought i'd try it anyways because i didn't have any other mount but i do definitely mount my road packs on the back of a swing out here and I don't put them on the roof because they do get hot uh, sitting in the sun and you do need and you have to get up there and kind of relieve the pressure of it. So that's the uh, that's the front runner rack. Uh, been a pretty good rack, I like it. Um, not as slim line and sleek as the Prince but we got lots more options on mounting uh, accessories. Now the Prince may have more stuff available now. They're, Working on more things to put on more proprietary items. Of course, here's the old classic. You know, they are the rack and steel. Those are both aluminum. This is steel. It's it's made well. It's robust. It's heavy, but um, it does a great job. Uh, you have enough to own firewood. Loads of firewood on top. I mean, it's pretty pretty rugged. Uh, they do have a really nice mounting system. Uh, in the gutters here, uh, ARB really has thought this through uh, better than everybody else, <laughs> probably. They've been doing it a long time. Uh, you know, you can do different kind of mounting uh, systems on you know, on these. You know, you can buy those bar clamps on uh, Amazon, online, whatever. Uh, the ARB does have a nice little, um, now this is just, you know, you can get different, you can get the mesh top or the bar top. You know, they do have a nice little way to mount some lights on it. Um, you know, the hole's already prefabbed in there. You have to drill anything. I just ran my wiring up through the door. I need to hide my wiring a little better there. But, um, otherwise, uh, that, the ARB rack's been pretty good. But just got, you know, a shovel mounted to the top of it. And let's see. Come around there to the other side. And I, now this, uh, the, this, I, I, you know, you probably ought to do some better bar clamps than when I did. I think I did a, and I probably need to tighten this up even. Um, I think I picked this up at Ace Hardware and made those from whatever I found at Ace Hardware. I should have done something a little better than that, but, um, but they're real nice racks. Uh, they come in this really dark gray color. I think they're still doing it in that color. Um, and by the way, it's also, uh, if you need a match, if you, if you scratch the rack, there's a matching color. I'll show you the paint can. It is, it's kind of a... This uh, hammer and black, you ever scratch it up? Or if you want to match any other accessories to it, it's a uh, rust hammered black is the almost spot on color it's just a really dark gray so it works really well if you mess it up or anything but otherwise it's been a pretty good rack 
you know, you don't get any, uh, I don't hear any noise from it because it's on top of a FJ60 with no sunroof. So, kind of a mute issue there. But uh, overall, though, um, I like each rack in its own way. You know, they're, they're both, they're all you know, serve their purposes in different ways. But Okay, so just to summarize, if you want a rack with Currently, at least, the front runner rack has the most accessories that just bolt right on. Uh, they're, they're accessories, they're proprietary, you know, you have to buy, order them straight from the uh, front runner. But it's nice, you know, it's ready to go, it's easy. Um, if you want more sleek, or a lower profile, this Prince Sue's been really nice, and this truck is on a five to six inch lift, so it is uh, nice for a little extra roof clearance getting through the trails. Um, they are big, classic look. Can't go wrong with it. It's just uh, it's a, it's a tried and true rack. They've been making forever, so just some bars everywhere, so you can do bar clamps to mount anything you need to. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's subscribe to the channel.